Hey, what's going on, everyone? Coach Joey coming in. It is Monday, December 12th, and uh, trying to get back on track here with our weekly nutrition tips, guidelines, things that'll kind of help you keep on track. I know I've been absent for a little bit, uh, a little bit of personal stuff going on, but um, more or less, that's kind of just an excuse. So um, obviously, my goal going into the new year is to make sure that I provide enough content for you know our members and non-members alike that will hopefully keep you on track with whatever your personal health and wellness goals are. So um, today we're going to talk about something interesting. Uh, we're going to talk about the carbohydrate. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the carbohydrate because of all the fad diets and ups and downs and things you read about and how they're good and not good for you. And regardless of, you know, kind of what's going on, most people are really, really confused when it comes to their carbohydrate intake. Um, how much they should be consuming, what type of carbohydrates that they should be consuming. And then, uh, you know, so we'll try to clear some of that stuff up now. So for most people, uh, when they come into the gym and they're trying to lose a little bit of body fat, the first thing that they want to do is cut their carbohydrates. Um, I hear it with about 80% of people. I eat pretty good. I don't eat any carbs. Um, well, eating carbohydrates is not bad for you. Um, you have to understand that if you're an active person, Carbohydrates provide the fuel for your body to kind of help you get through your day and get you through some of your training and some of your workouts that you may be doing. So I'm adjusting a little bit there. Um, so they're really, really important. Now, when we talk about the types of carbohydrates that we need, um, you know, you have your simple carbs and then your complex carbs. Rule number one, uh, processed sugar, stay away from it. Um, unless you're a young male and you're coming into the gym frequently and lifting heavy weights and you're eating stuff like that around your workouts, um, for the majority of the, um, I'm coming into the gym, I do my warm up, I do my workout, I go home. You really, really don't need that stuff. Um, it does serve a purpose for competitive and recovery on a higher level of, you know, strength and conditioning, but realistically you want to try to avoid the, uh, the, uh, processed sugars, you know, the high fructose corn syrups, uh, you want to keep your, your sugar intake generally pretty low to begin with. Now, when you think about your total carbohydrate intake, you can almost think about it like your car. And this isn't the greatest evaluation because if you're somebody who doesn't drive very much and you fill your car up with gas, your, your car isn't going to get heavier. But if you don't drive your car very often and you're always filling your tank up, um, over time, fuel can go bad, let's say, and you could get um, like tarnish buildup. So we'll refer to that as, you know, adding the unpleasant inches to your waistline. So when you think about carbohydrates, you have to really kind of decide what you need to fuel yourself for that day. So if you get in your car and your work is only five miles, you're not gonna wake up every morning and fill your car up with gas. You're gonna give yourself either A, enough gas to get back and forth to work that day, or B, you fill your car up and then you're gonna use that fuel till it's depleted and then you're gonna refill it again. Um, that's essentially how your carbohydrate intake should work. Um, a good rule of thumb, uh, if you're a male, typically a good rule of thumb, if you're somebody on a training day, you want to consume about one gram of carbohydrate per pound of body weight. So if you're 180 pounds on a training day, you eat 180 grams of carbohydrates. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard to keep track of if you're really trying to dial it in. For women, I usually recommend about a 25 to 30% reduction on that. Um, women are a little bit more hormonal, so their bodies operate a little bit differently, and you guys inherently are gonna hold on to body fat um, more so than, than the, the male counterparts do. So usually about a 25 to 30% reduction on days that you're gonna be coming into the gym. So if you are, let's say 130 pounds, you could you know rough guess that you need to be somewhere between 90 and 100 grams of carbohydrates on those days. Um, ideally, and if you're go trying to go to the next level, you wanna try to consume the majority of those carbohydrates before and around after your workout, meaning that if you work out at 3.30, you don't wanna have a very carb-laden meal um, at 7 p.m. at night because you've already exhausted um, the carbohydrates that you have, and there's no need to refuel till the next day. Now, if you eat some carbohydrates after your workout, that's going to help aid in recovery. But again, that's going to be kind of a next level thing. So here's my rule of thumb. One, carbohydrates. You definitely want to stay on the more natural side of carbohydrates. I don't have anything against gluten or whole wheat bread or rice, or if you're somebody who likes pasta, whole wheat pastas or anything like that. Um, you just want to be careful with that because it's really, really dense and most people don't measure or weigh their food. So it's really easy to misjudge how much of that stuff that you're eating. Um, the other thing is when you look at a package, if you're eating something out of a package, you're going to have carbohydrates and then you're going to have sugar. So when you're looking at that package, if there's 25 grams of carbohydrates and there's 23 grams of sugar, 
don't eat that. Um, that just means that all of that is coming from sugar and that's where you start getting into like the next level, you know, insulin spikes and all that other stuff, which at the end of the day from strength and conditioning perspective still isn't bad, but we're just talking about basic stuff right now. Um, rule number two, if it's not in a package, don't worry about it, but you still need to know what you're eating. So if you're eating an apple or a banana or kiwis or some kind of fruits or berries, um, you need to know obviously how many carbohydrates are in there. And again, if you're not weighing and measuring, it makes it pretty difficult, but, um, you know, you can always make a guesstimation on that and, you know, just kind of play it safe, you know? So if you overestimate, you know, you won't go over, but all that stuff is always going to be good for you. And like I said, at the end of the day, um, myself, I'll eat like some Ezekiel bread. I'll eat, um, oatmeal. Um, I do like fruits. Um, not the hugest fan of protein bars, but sometimes if I get busy, I squeeze them in there and those things typically will have some carbohydrates and sugar in there, but I try to play it accordingly to how my day is going. So, um, remember, Carbohydrates, they're not bad for you. Carbohydrates don't make you fat. Um, carbohydrates are fuel for your body to get through the day and get through your workouts. Yes, you can overdo it. Yes, if you're doing processed sugars and you're eating it with fatty foods and you're creating an insulin spike and then your body's just wanting to hold on to all that stuff, yes, it could be detrimental. But by no means are carbohydrates bad for you and by no means do you have to eliminate them to start working towards the body composition that you wanna have. All right, you guys, uh, Coach Joey out. Please forgive me for not coming in on a more consistent basis, but I promise this is the uh, the start of consistency for you guys. If you ever have any questions, feel free to let me know. You come check us out at the gym, 352-694-3333. Um, we're here at CrossFit Ocala off of 1600 17th Avenue in Ocala. All right, you guys, enjoy your Monday. Start the new year off right. Finish the, new, finish the year off on a good foot. All right, have a good one.